Hi everyone, Corey here with Team Kramer Fishing. And in this video, um, I want to share some family fishing that we did on a trip this, on a camp and fish trip this summer. And I also want to share a rig that works really great for family fishing, especially if you're fishing with, uh, you can fish with night crawlers, which is what we were fishing with in this video. You can also fish with cut bait, and you can also fish this with live bait if you step your hook up just a little bit. Um, and I don't see a whole lot of people using this rig, but I get more bites than with a Carolina rig. Um, you can set it up so you can just kind of sit around and watch your rods. And that works really good when you have uh, kids that are fishing. Or if you have multiple people fishing, you know, a limited number of rods. Um, you can just get those rods out soaking and kind of let the bait do the work. Um, these, this rig doesn't get snagged very much. It gets more bites than a Carolina rig. Um, and you can catch a wide variety of fish on it, as you'll see in this video if you watch the whole thing. And some pretty good sized fish too. Um, basically, it's, it's a Santee Cooper rig. Um, but I usually, when I see people fishing this rig, they, they're fishing bigger rigs for like cat, like big catfish. Um, they're fishing, you know, like cut bait or live bait for things like that. Um, maybe some bottom fish if they're fishing the ocean. But all it is is a Carolina rig, which is if you're not familiar, you just have some sliding sinkers, okay, that you run your line through, and then they go to a swivel. I have an extra piece here that you don't really have to have. This is a new rig that I've been working on that I haven't talked about yet. But basically you just need this, a, sing, a single sinker if you want to. I like these um, kind of bullet shaped ones or these are kind of football shaped ones. They've kind of gotten hard to find here in COVID times. Um, I had to order these from a small seller from Los Angeles actually because I had such a hard problem finding them. But the, this particular shape here, um, it doesn't get snagged very much at all. And if you, these are half ounce, so I was throwing like an ounce. Um, you can line up as many of them as you want on here and they'll slide and let the fish take the bait um, before they feel the resistance of your rod. Um, so it lets it pull through just like a normal Carolina rig. Now on the end, on your leader line, what I use for night crawler size bait. So this is a VMC circle hook. I don't know if you can see it too well here to focus on my hand. It's focusing on my other hand. So, so this is a VMC size six circle hook. There we go. I think I ordered that one from Tackle Warehouse. But if you just go to Walmart, my go-to um, is a number six Aberdeen hook. This is just an Eagle Claw number six Aberdeen. Um, these can bend out, you can bend them back in. The only kind of downside of those is uh, the barbs are really big. Sometimes I even pinch them down um, just because they kind of tear the fish up if you're not keeping them. If you're keeping the fish, it doesn't really matter. You do tend to get a lot of swallows when you're using um, like night crawlers and so forth. So especially if you're fishing for like a sport fish that you want to let go like bass or you're fishing minnows or something. I do like the, uh, the little tiny circle hooks for that. Uh, it works a little bit better. Don't get as many gut hooks and um, you know, you could release those fish more safely. But basically what you have, this is just a trout magnet bobber. It's a tiny little bobber, okay? And you have a basic Carolina rig, but on your leader line, you tie this bobber about two thirds of the way up. And what it does is when your weight's sitting on the ground, that bobber floats up and it lifts your bait up off of the, of the bottom just a little bit. And basically what it does is it puts that bait right in front of the fish's nose. So any fish is just kind of floating along the bottom. I mean, they can't miss it. It's right in their face. I catch lots more fish actually on this rig than a normal Carolina rig in most circumstances. Every now and then you'll run into like a weird situation where they're just really suck, you know, right on the bottom. But this almost always outperforms the Carolina rig. The one downside that I have is, so on my rods, I'm throwing 30 pound um, spider wire braid. And I just use the same for the leader line, just kind of out of pure laziness. So when I'm rigging up a bunch of rods for the whole family, 
I can just snip some of the main line off and use it as a leader line and I don't have to have a whole other set of line. You also, like I said, tend to get a lot of swallows. So if you cut your line off a lot, you might have to tie a new leader line. It's just kind of hard to have tons and tons of separate leader line for each situation. The downside of that is when you're using braid on this, it does have a tendency to tangle when you're casting. So if, especially if you're making really far casts, it's flying through the air a lot more, a lot more opportunity for it to tangle up. Um, if you're making close casts, it's not really too big of a deal, in my experience. So you could use a stiffer mono line for your leader line, and that would probably take care of a lot of the problem. But tight rig, we're mostly fishing bluegill, bass, and, and relatively small and medium-sized catfish. Um, I don't really want the thicker line. You can lose bites if you're using really thick line um, when you're fishing for more finicky fish. Like, and bluegills aren't necessarily finicky, but if you use thick line, they can be sometimes. Um, so thin line seems to work um, a little bit better. So once you get past the tangles, it's hard to beat this. And as you'll see in this video, it's pretty fun and it's pretty relaxing as a parent to just be able to sit down, have a couple drinks or whatever, just let the rod soak and then jump up whenever anything bites. Um, and you do get lots of bites on this. So there's the rig and here's the video of us fishing. Thanks for watching. The bad part about this rig is it gets all tangled up a lot. Oh, oh, fish on. Heck yeah. That feels like about a four inch bluegill. Four inch bluegill coming my way. Man, I should have brought my bait bucket down. It's fighting a little harder now though. Five inch bluegill. Actually, that's a decent. That's all right, actually. It's a seven. Take a seven inch bluegill. I think he swallowed my hook though. He didn't fight real hard, but that's a, it's a pretty seven incher. All right. That was kind of cool. He jumped out of the water. Maybe I should check my other line too. So much wind, it's hard to tell when you're getting big. Yeah, well, Nothing. I got a bluegill so far tonight. Just tonight? Yeah, there's one on there right now, I think. <laughs> I got a pretty decent, like a two pound bass on the frog this earlier today. Yeah. We were here. In the lilies. We were here over the 25th of June, and my son in law took a frog. He caught a pretty good sized bass then. I had the kayak out though then, so I could get back in there. That's what we were fishing. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, it's like a little bullhead or oh, a little baby bass. <laughs> That's a little baby one. I'll tell you, in a few years, there's going to be some big ones out here tonight. I'll tell you what, I got one that was probably, it was at least two pounds, maybe a little bit more. I didn't weigh it, but it was fun to get on the frog for sure. And then I got a couple in between one and two. Yeah. So I was pretty happy with that for only going out an hour We're each time. Out here, out here. It kind of had made a yeah. You're getting bit. Oh look at him! Over oh, he got one. Oh, he's got one. Still on there? Oh, she got the stance now. Doesn't look like the rod's bending much. Felt like it, but you were definitely oh, yeah. getting yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Break into the stance. It looks like like a six-inch bluegill. That's my guess. That rod's stiffer than my other rod, though. I actually haven't fished with it very much, so I don't know how much it bends. Oh, it's tiny. It's a little bass, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a bullhead. Oh. That's a nice bullhead, actually. Chunky bullhead. That's a chunky monkey. Nice job. Watch their uh, side pectoral fins and they'll whack their tail at you sometimes too, so you gotta watch that. Oh god. Not gonna. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you could get some meat off him if you're hungry. Anybody well, wanna eat bullheads no, tonight? No, put him back. Bye you, buddy. Your fish, you get to choose. No. Nope. Alright. That's a bite. That's a bite. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. 
Still rolling? Oh, that's... Oh, maybe we got a real fish for a change. Oh, yeah. It's at least a pound. Oh, I think it's a big channel catfish. It'd be our fourth species this afternoon. Could be a bass too, but I'm feeling head shakes. I saw they um, stocked walleye. That'd be kind of cool if we caught a walleye. But that was, I don't think they're gonna be very big. Did I bring a net? No. All right, watch out, Shelly. Uh -oh. I'm gonna get hit by the fish. Well, he might come jumping out of here right at your head. It feels like a channel cat to me. Or a big bass. I'm gonna pull him right up here in this little beach. Okay. It's big. Feels about a five pound channel cat if I had to guess. Ooh, it's a mystery. Still oh, it might be a carp, but it's not fighting like a carp. Fighting like a channel cat. It's a fat fish. Oh my God, that's it's a fat a catfish. fish. <laughs> I thought you were gonna grab him. You look like you're gonna pet him here. Watch out! I get, I'll get him. He's, I got him. Maybe if I can get my line. Oh my god! Okay, trying to grab my line. Hold on, pal. Oh, right in my hand. A little bastard. Grab him. He could have got away. I. He, he's fat. <sighs> there we go. I got it. Oh, That's sorry. a big one. What do you think? That's a good six or seven pounder, I'd say. He is heavy for his length. Eli, come look at this fish. Look at it. Miles, look. Isn't he cool? You guys want dinner tonight? Catfish dinner? Yes! <laughs> I'm probably going to let him go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's at, at he least needed. five, and I'd say he feels more like seven. I don't he think I have my scales. I left him up at the... That was fun. I thought there'd be some channels in here. We could have a fun night tonight. All right, back in you go, pal. Oh my God. It's really shallow here, so I tossed him out a little farther. Right hand goes here, right there, and then you can reel on that one with your left hand. You know what the right and left is? Raise your right hand. That's your left hand. Raise your other hand. That's your right hand, okay? Oh, what do you think? Got anything or not? Stop reeling for a second. Eh, go ahead and reel it in. We'll see if anything's on there. Doesn't look. Oh, Eli, go. Ready? Jerk. Jerk it. Jerk it up. You get it? I think it's on. You got something. I think. Eh? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell when I don't have the rod. Does it feel like you have something? Yeah. yeah that's right. It does. Oh, yeah. oh, is it pulling drag? Oh, Eli might have a good one. Let's see. He already got snagged on something. I did lighten the drag just a little bit. You want help get the fish on shore? Yeah, we do. We don't have a net, Vivian, so. It's it's kind of weird. It doesn't look like it's fighting, so it might not actually be a fish. We'll see. You definitely got a bite, though. It's not even pulling anymore. Okay. You might not have it anymore. He might have got off. Oh, no. Just wait. Real. You don't have to wait out to the lake. Oh, oh. It is a fish. What'd you get? Look at that bluegill. Holy smokes. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like we lost our hook, right? Hey, nope. That's nice. That I caught, that's yeah. what I'm happy about. Oh, okay. Here, I'll take this rod. Maybe you hold the. Or I'll, you can. I got it. Guess what? I got my own. Come and hold it, Eli. Look. Get over there. You gotta hold it up for the camera so we can put it on YouTube. Mm. Vivian, watch that's out. Fine. 
Okay. okay, look at me. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay, you can throw them in carefully. Okay, throw them back in the water. Walk down to the walk down to the edge and then put them back in. Ready, go. Boom, and he's gone that fast. Good, give me five. You did an excellent job. You're a good fisherman, man.